So before we start anything on the bleeding procedure, we need to make sure the master cylinder is level, making sure that we no, lose no fluid from the master cylinder once we remove the lid. Then we take out the first T10 torque screw, then the second one. Make sure you realise this is a T10 torque screw and not an Allen key as some people have done. And then once we remove the lid, just be careful because sometimes the diaphragm sticks in the cap, sometimes it sticks to the master cylinder but just be careful as you're taking it away with the excess fluid that can stick to the diaphragm. And then just wipe away the excess oil and sometimes dirt that can just sit there on the lid, making sure that when we fill the master cylinder back up that it washes no dirt inside. Then we remove the rubber diaphragm, the rubber cap, sorry, from the bleed nipple to fit our spanner and then our bleed hose. And you always just wrap a little bit of tissue around that just in case the uh, bleed cap, the bleed pipe pops off or anything, just to make sure that we don't contaminate anything. Just as a double security, just to make sure that nothing uh, gets spilt. Then we fill the master cylinder up with oil. Just be careful because sometimes you can tend to overfill it. And then we start the bleeding procedure. If you unscrew the bleed nipple, maybe a quarter of a turn, eighth of a turn, then pull the master cylinder lever in, lever in, then lock your bleed nipple off. And if you keep repeating that quite a few times, so as making sure there's no bubbles coming out. Then also, you can also try unscrewing the bleed nipple and pushing each individual piston back, because this will move any pockets of air that can be sat at the back of the piston, which sometimes happens. Also double checking that your bleed nipple is pointing uphill, sometimes, more so on the frames at the back, the bleed nipple can be pointing down and it pockets the air at the back of the piston, so just keep an eye out on this. Then remove your diaphragm from your cap, just making sure all the breather holes are clear, where, where the actual diaphragm seat is clear, just wipe any excess away, any dirt that might be in there, just have a good inspection of it. Then once the master cylinder is partly full, just roll the diaphragm in ever so slowly. Now we will be taking this back off, so don't panic. This isn't the full finishing procedure. Then just pop your T10 torque screws back in there. This this is the important bit really. Is it's we've bled the brake, but this is just to make sure we get rid of the excess air that sometimes can be trapped in the pis piston uh, chamber and some, because of where the hole's positioned, we need to now tip the master cylinder down to make sure we can get rid of all the excess air. So then if we just undo the four mil Allen keys, just move your lever so it's directly pointing down. This will help us then get rid of the air by pumping the lever. If you just keep pumping it, obviously making sure you've got your pads into your caliper, or else you're going to end up popping all your pistons back out, that will be a bit of trouble. So once you've repeatedly pressed it, this will then allow the air that may have been trapped in the piston, piston chamber to rise back up into the master cylinder. So sometimes you can find that your oil level has gone down slightly, so what we're doing now is removing the cap so we can do the final finishing procedure of filling the cap and rolling the diaphragm in properly. Just make sure that uh, you don't drip any oil anywhere. Just uh, be careful with that oil because it can ruin paintwork. So if we push all the pistons back, just using a screwdriver, pressing on the between the piston and the back plate of the pad. Don't use a screwdriver in between the pads because it can damage the surface. And be very careful that you get a good purchase on the back of the piston so you don't chip the edge because they are only phenolic and can be quite soft. So if you're using a sharp screwdriver, you can easily damage them. So just be careful and then just take a tissue to soak away the excess oil that may be in the bleed nipple itself because you can also find that that can dribble out at a later stage and then you can also contaminate your pads when it runs out then if you take some little bit of oil then just to finally top it up get in as much in there as you can and then sit the diaphragm in at one end and just roll it in and this in turn fills the rib inside if you just place it directly in it will pocket the air which obviously is what we're trying to get rid of. And just tap your cap on nicely there. Just make sure it's seated properly because sometimes with the diaphragm it can be just off on one side. So just sometimes give it a little gentle tap 
if it doesn't look seated generally it isn't so just make sure and then just nip them screws up don't go super tight with them just nicely nip them up and then just wipe away all your excess oil just keep your tissue on there just so it soaks it away a little bit sometimes if you just quickly wipe it doesn't get rid of it all but just making sure it's all gone then if you just fasten your four mil allen keys back up into your desired position and give the lever a pump because obviously your pistons will have been out retracted in the caliper and then this little bit's quite important just to centralize it just to make sure they're all working evenly on your disc if you find that it's bending the cali bending the disc then it means that it's actually not lined up and centralized